This is the Wii Viewer. And the Little Reviewer. And we're going to review Mario Kart Wii for the Wii, obviously. Why did you say that? Well, if it's called Mario Kart Wii, I guess it's for the Wii, wouldn't you say? Of course. <laughs> Would you say you're good at the game? Mm, yes, because I got everything gold except for one. And you got like um, one, two, two gold. I know I'm no good at games. Thank you. I'm just good at reviewing them. <laughs> This is easily one of the most requested titles I've ever been asked to review. In the past month, I've gotten over three letters to review this game. Nintendo sure has a way of making gold out of any franchise they put Mario in. And you would think this series is one that wouldn't work with Mario in it. I mean, who wants to drive a go-kart with an overweight plumber? Apparently everyone, given how insanely popular this series is. The series has always been known for crazy level designs, but even for Mario Kart, they are a bit out there. Whether you're being shot out of a cannon and somehow surviving, going through a mall, or doing tricks for speed boosts, the new levels never disappoint. There are 32 levels to choose from, 16 brand new and 16 from previous games. So which one was your favorite track? DK Summit, Maple Treeway, DK Mountain, Bowser's Castle, but Bowser's Castle, the new one, not, not the N64 one. So which tracks did you like better, the originals or the throwbacks? The new ones. I, I just like the new ones because um, the graphics look, look pretty more good. Yeah, I agree. But they've updated the graphics on even the uh, throwbacks too, you know. Barely. While the new levels look great, a new coat of paint isn't enough to make the older levels that exciting in comparison. For example, one of my favorite tracks on Super Mario Kart was Ghost Track 2. It's included in the 16 re-released tracks. But it didn't age well, and my favorite track at the time turned into one I wouldn't look twice at. When you get the game, you get a free accessory, the Wii Wheel. You basically put your Wiimote inside this piece of plastic and it turns it into a driving steering wheel. What'd you think of it? Um, I can't rate this one because I don't use it, so I just say it's bad because I don't use it. I like the Wii Wheel. Steering it is not just what what I'm used to. I'm, I'm used to um using the control. The control pad. So you like the GameCube controller? Not the classic controller because the control stick, um, it seems really off track. GameCube controller, it's not that loose. There was an automatic mode or a manual drifting mode. Which one would you prefer? Automatic, but manual has a speed up, but the drift is so hard to control that if I would do it, I wouldn't have any more gold. Well, you do understand the manual is for expert players. The newest addition for this game are motorcycles, which is a little strange since the game is called Mario Kart Wii. They were fun to play, but seemed out of place. There are also a lot of characters to choose from, with the regular cast joining in like usual. There were a few throwaway characters, only included to increase the character roster. Baby Peach? What's next? Baby Boo? There are a few great additions, like Rosalina, and the ability to race as your Miis, but those all have to be unlocked. The other staple of Mario Kart is the items, and they're just as powerful as always, and at times a little unbalanced. I still dislike the blue shell, it comes up way too often. Some of my favorite items this time around were the bullet and the infinite boost. You can play Grand Prix, time trials, or even practice battling the computer. The Grand Prix is more exciting than usual because now there are 11 other players to race against. The time trials have even more replayability due to the fact you can download new ghosts to race off the Mario Kart Wii channel. There is another mode to unlock. What mode is that? Mirror mode. You know how the stages are front? You have to go front? Yeah. Of the finish line? You, you have to go backwards and then you go from the front of the finish line for when you finish. The multiplayer is as fun as usual. You can play up to four players split screen. You can race in teams or competitive or battle with balloons or collecting coins. What was your favorite thing to do in multiplayer? Battle or races? Races. Because battle, it's not, it's like a whole different kind, it's a whole different game. So, so I, I would just like doing tracks because it's like the, that's what the game is about, tracks. You can also play online and it was very easy to connect with other players for races or battles. But I wish you had the ability to talk to the other players. Mario Kart Wii may have been dumbed down a little for the casual crowd, but I didn't find that a bad thing. I liked that my son could beat me because of the natural handicapping they did. The game looks great, and it's definitely worth $50. What do you think, little Wii viewer? Mario Kart Wii is awesome.